Assalamu alaikum my dear students this is Bakhtiyar Hussain and we are going to continue with the same topic that we studied in the last lecture the topic introduction to eukaryotic cell now in the previous lecture we covered different uh, cell organelles of the eukaryotic cell we understood the significance of the eukaryotic cell by comparing it with the prokaryotic cell and we came to a conclusion that a uh, eukaryotic cell is more developed more complex than the prokaryotic cell now we are going to continue with another organelle of the eukaryotic cell uh, it's called as the plastids now plastids jo hote hain ye mane jaate hain one of the largest uh, cell organelles you can clearly observe them on the microscope now plastids they are found in plant cells they are found in euglenoids now euglenoids they belong to the kingdom protista they are the unicellular eukaryotes now this particular uh, plastid is are one of the largest uh, cell organelles they are found in the plant cells they are found in the euglenoid cells and more than that the plastids they are of three types the first type is called as chloroplast the next type is called as chromoplast and the third type is called as leucoplast now chloroplast is important from the point of view that uh, it helps in the production of the food for the plant chloroplast jo hote hain वो अपने अंदर स्टोर करते हैं क्लोरोफिल पिगमेंट्स जिससे फोटोसिंथेसिस की प्रोसेस जो होती है वो पॉसिबल हो पाती है आफ्टर द क्लोरोप्लास्ट देर इज अनदर वन देर इज अ क्रोमोप्लास्ट क्रोमोप्लास्ट जो बेसिकली होते हैं क्रोमोप्लास्ट दे आर मेंट फॉर गिविंग कलर टू द प्लांट पार्ट्स दे हेल्प इन प्रोवाइडिंग कलर टू द प्लांट पार्ट्स टू द प्लांट प्रोडक्ट्स थर्ड इज द वट वी कॉल एज द ल्यूकोप्लास्ट ल्यूकोप्लास्ट आर कलरलेस प्लास्टिड्स दे डोंट कंट्रीब्यूट इन द कलर प्रोवाइडिंग they don't uh, contribute to the photosynthesis they are meant for one specific function that is the storage of the food now jis kism ka food leucoplast store karenge waise hi kism ka leucoplast ka naam pad jayega now firstly there is the first type that is the alluroplast now alluroplast is a type of leucoplast it is meant for the storage of the protein alluroplast is meant for the storage of the protein because the word alluron it refers to the protein so alluroplast related with the word alluron and alluroplast is meant for the protein storage now secondly there is what we call as the amyloplast amyloplast as the word suggest amylo it refers to the word amylo amylo here means starch so amyloplast it's meant for the storage of carbohydrates including the starch now thirdly there is what we call as the elaioplast elaioplast is meant for the storage of oils it's meant for the storage of the fats so this was about the plastids a brief uh, glimpse about them then we move on to the next thing that is uh, what we call as the cilia and flagella now cilia and flagella are special locomotory structures they are found in the eukaryotic cell now if i cite a very good example here that is of a human sperm cell human sperm cell ya human spermatozoa it has got a tail and that tail is actually the product of the flagella that tail is actually the flagella extension of flagella modification of flagella you can call it so flagella found in the eukaryotic cell example is the human sperm cell which is a eukaryotic cell or speaking about the cilia cilia is found in the eukaryotic cell there is a very good example of that that is the paramecium the paramecium they are the ciliated protists they are the ciliated protozoans a paramecium it's got hundreds and thousands of cilia all around its body meant for the locomotion meant for the movement and uh, cilia and flagella they both are related with the movement but wo differ kahan pe karte hain unme farak kahan pe aa jati hai cilia are usually short and they are more numerous flagella are long and they are less numerous cilia are short they are more numerous they are more in number and flagella is long it is less in number now then we move on to the another thing that is the centrosome and centriole now to understand the centrosome and centriole perfectly and completely we have to go into the chapter cell cycle and division where we understand how the different uh, spindle apparatus are created to assist the cell division in short we can here understand that these uh, structures actually these organelles actually the centriole found inside the centrosome 
they help in assisting the cell division they are uh, actually meant for formation of the spindle apparatus without which the cell division is incomplete and then we move on to the other thing that is the nucleus now before we talk about the nucleus we need to understand the history of nucleus nucleus uh, was discovered by robert brown in the orchid root cells in the year 1831 it's a fact and it's an important point robert brown discovered the nucleus in the orchid root cells and nucleus is one of the most important organelle inside the cell nucleus it controls and coordinates almost every activity inside the cell nucleus it comprises of a space inside it called as nucleoplasm now here i have made a diagram of nucleus it's got an envelope covering actually there are two membrane covering outer nuclear membrane inner nuclear membrane and inside the nucleus there is a space called as nucleoplasm and nucleoplasm ke andar different different contents aate hain i'll first speak about this particular structure it's called as nucleolus as we already know rna or ribonucleic acid it is of various types and among these types there is one which is called as rrna ribosomal rna this particular nucleolus it is a site of ribosomal rna synthesis it's having high significance ये बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट है इन साइड द न्यूक्लियस द न्यूक्लियोलस इट इज मेड फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द राइबोसोमल आर एन ए अपार्ट फ्रॉम हैविंग द न्यूक्लियोलस द न्यूक्लियस इसके अंदर क्रोमेटिन होता है नो वन हैज टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग देर इज वन टर्म दैट इज क्रोमेटिन देर इज अनदर टर्म दैट इज द क्रोमोसोम्स क्रोमेटिन से बनता है क्रोमोसोम्स बट दर इज अ डिफरेंस ये कब बनता है वी टॉक अबाउट फॉर एग्जाम्पल न्यूक्लियस न्यूक्लियस के दो चेहरे होते हैं दो फेसेस होते हैं इसके दो फेजेस होते हैं फेसेस भी और फेजेस भी वन इज वेन द न्यूक्लियस इज नॉट डिवाइडिंग अनदर वन इज वेन द न्यूक्लियस इज डिवाइडिंग जब न्यूक्लियस डिवाइड कर रहा होता है उस टाइम पे हम क्रोमोसोम्स देखते हैं एंड जब न्यूक्लियस डिवाइड नहीं कर रहा होता है वेन द न्यूक्लियस इज इन द इंटरफेस स्टेज इट इज इन द नॉन डिवाइडिंग स्टेट वी ऑब्जर्व द क्रोमेटिव नाउ वेन ए न्यूक्लियस इज चेंजिंग इट्स स्टेट from the non dividing phase to the dividing phase the chromatin inside it gets changed it gets condensed to form the chromosomes so to say that chromatin as well as the chromosomes they lie inside the nucleus it is obviously right but you have to understand that the chromosomes are formed by the chromatin themselves theek another thing now there are certain uh, structures like for example i mentioned here one thing that is the peroxisome now there is a group of organelles inside the eukaryotic cell which are very small in size they are called as micropodies as the name suggests micropodies micro refers to small and bodies refers to a structure they are very small sized organelles and isme bahut sare example aa jate hain and me se agar main ek example lunga that is peroxisome peroxisome is a very important microbody it's involved in the c2 cycle or the photorespiration this peroxisome is also involved in the breakdown of fatty acids as well now there's another one which is called as glyoxisomes glyoxisomes are also involved in the fatty acid uh, breakdown they have got enzymes which are involved in the breakdown of the fatty acids so peroxisome glyoxisome they are basically the types of uh, microbodies then there comes another important component of the eukaryotic cell that is uh, what we call as the cytoskeleton cytoskeleton actually involves a lot of things it's got a lot of uh, structures like microfilaments like there is microtubules but overall their role is to maintain the shape of cell to maintain cell structure एक इंसान में जैसे स्केलेटन होता है जो उसकी शेप को मेंटेन करता है उसके पोस्चर को मेंटेन करता है ठीक है ना उसके स्ट्रक्चर को मेंटेन करता है इन अ सिमिलर वे देर इज व्हाट वी कॉल एज द साइटोस्केलेटन एंड साइटोस्केलेटन इज मेंट फॉर मेंटेनिंग द स्ट्रक्चर द शेप ऑफ अ सेल ठीक एंड दिस वॉज द ब्रीफ ओवरव्यू ऑफ द वट वी कॉल एज द यूटेटिक सेल एंड सर्टन स्ट्रक्चर्स इनका इन डेप्थ एनालिसिस विल बी प्रोवाइडेड सो Stay home and stay safe.